In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a power option to your Windows 10 desktop that you can choose if it either shuts down your computer, restarts your computer, signs you out of Windows, or puts your computer into Hibernate. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and right click on your desktop. You now need to go to New and then Shortcut. We now need to type in Shutdown, Space, Forward Slash, and you now need to choose which option you would like to do. So if you want it to shut down your computer, you need to do S. If you want it to restart your computer, you will do R. If you want it to sign out of Windows, you need to do L. And if you want it to put your computer into Hibernate, you need to do H. I'm going to go ahead and do R for restart. You now need to do space again, and you now need to go forward slash T space zero. This will mean that you won't get a notification pop up warning you that your computer is about to restart or shut down or whatever option you've chosen. It will just go ahead and do the command which is on my instance going to be restart. You can take this out if you do want to have that notification pop up but for now I'm going to go forward slash t and then zero. We can now go ahead and go next you can now give the shortcut a name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this restart and then PC and now go finish. So I now have the shortcut on my desktop, but as you can see, the icon's a bit boring. So if you want to change the icon, you can go ahead and right click on the shortcut. You can then go to properties. You now need to make sure you're on the shortcut tab and then click on change icon. You now need to press OK and you can now go ahead and choose a new icon. I'm going to go ahead and select this icon here and press OK and then OK, and there we go. So now if I go ahead and double click on that shortcut, it will restart my PC. I'm not going to do it because obviously I'm recording and it will stop the record, but that is how you add a power option shortcut to your Windows 10 desktop. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.